yeah, no problem whatsoever. Yeah, glad to do it. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice break from, you know, everything else too. So we really <laughs> yeah, enjoy your TikToks. Yeah, oh, you thank you. Yeah, thank I really you. appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh uh yeah, to tell you the truth, I need to get more um more videos out there because I've been really doing uh lives over okay. the last like couple months and it's been great, but uh I need to get some more content <laughs> out there. So, yeah. Um, cool. but yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for having me. So yeah, it's a, it's a real pleasure. So. Okay. Um, well, we can start, I guess, for people who don't know your work, could you just explain a little bit about what you do to people watching? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, my name is Mike Madden. Uh, I'm an atmospheric scientist. Uh, I'm a recently defended PhD candidate at uh, North Carolina State University in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, should hopefully graduate this year. Uh, I have my master's in uh, atmospheric science from the University of Alaska Fairbanks um, and my uh, bachelor's in atmospheric science from the University of uh, Missouri, Columbia. Uh, <laughs> so, and, I, and yeah, I studied abroad also, you know, uh, in United Kingdom for a semester. Uh, a great experience. And uh, after my master's was over, um, I had the uh, amazing opportunity to uh, teach college physics in my uh, in my hometown, uh, which is uh, near Joplin, Missouri. So it was at uh, Missouri Southern State University in Joplin, Missouri. So uh, yeah, that's that's what I do. And and as far as what I study, uh, I study uh, many different things right now uh, from. Uh, the impacts of climate change on extreme weather, specifically like uh, extreme rainfall. Um, but also, also I'm, uh, I study atmospheric chemistry and right now spe specifically that relates to uh, natural emissions um, uh, from uh, uh, right now from lightning. So that's, that's what I work on now. And in order to work on, work on all that stuff, I use uh, uh, supercomputing technologies basically to simulate those phenomena in their natural environment. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's a lot of work. Um, uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's 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 uh, I guess a, a nice little overview of what I do. So yeah. So sorry. Uh, up, space commander. Yeah. Oh um, so we have a couple questions. I know like in the, the email that I sent you, um, mm -hmm. I just said like some basic questions basically. So you answered the first one about what you study. And then I think I asked you if you were given like a research grant of a um, million dollars, what like topic would you choose to study or research? Yeah. Uh, that was a particular, particularly uh, difficult question because I mean, the answer is vast. Like there's, there's a lot of things that could be study right now a lot of areas of uncertainty uh, so if i were if i had a million dollars what i would probably do is all right so every time that there's a, a lightning strike 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 yeah every time, strike, 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 strike. Yeah, every time it's like, yeah hold on yeah but, <laughs> sorry. no you're good you're good you're good you know you can always edit this in post so yeah it's the one thing i've learned doing tiktoks and all that jazz so um but uh uh, yeah, every time a lightning strikes, a strike occurs, uh, it basically, because it's so hot within the lightning strike, it disassociates the uh, atmospheric ingredients. So molecular nitrogen, molecular oxygen. And uh, because of that, downwind, it creates um, uh, nitrogen oxides and then later on uh, ozone downwind. And ozone is both a an air pollutant and a greenhouse gas and trying to figure out how lightning evolves with climate change. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how lightning will change both in terms of its frequency and the amount of uh, pollutants it releases per flash. Uh, I think it's going to be a very, it's, it's, it's a big area of uncertainty right now and in, in climatological research. So uh, there's that. Uh, so yeah, if I had a million dollars, I'd probably put uh, some money into that. It, but also, generally speaking, uh, because I also work in uh, atmospheric modeling in general, 
Uh, everything that we do is heavily dependent upon the data that we receive, the observational data that we receive. So that includes ground measurements, satellite measurements, uh, radio sons, which are basically the little instruments that we attach to the weather balloons, and they, you know, they go right up into the, through the atmosphere. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, putting additional money, saying into like to better data collection measures, and uh, uh, and just you know taking uh, additional data in other locations on Earth, uh, particularly in locations that aren't as uh, heavily monitored. Uh, we got South Africa, uh, excuse me, uh, South America, Africa. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot that uh, uh, can be worked on. So, um, are there any common misconceptions that bother you relating to atmospheric science? Um, I think not really, but uh, the one thing I do need to remind, continue to remind people again and again, is that there there is a there, there are big differences between uh, weather and climate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like that's that's uh, a you know kind of a repeatable like violation, <laughs> so so to speak. Uh, yeah. It's uh, and uh, yeah, but also generally speaking, it's very interesting to observe just how uh, when you tell people how influential the climate is, <laughs> like like literally the climate affects the cl kinds of clothes that you have in your closet. Yeah. Like that's how integrated, you know, climate is into our lives. It determines where we live, the food we eat, you know, how, how we get from place to place. Um, so yeah, anytime like you open the newspapers, oh, excuse me, not newspapers, uh, no one reads them anymore. Uh, uh, it, it just anytime you look at the news and say, oh, climate change is affecting this, you know, it, yeah, I can understand a little bit of the skepticism involved, but at the same time, it's really important to know just how influential climate is really in many of the aspects of how we conduct our daily lives. So, um, yeah, it's, yeah, so there's that, uh, there's yeah. that aspect too. That's super interesting. That is really interesting. Um, what would be your advice to someone looking to study or pursue a career in atmospheric science? Patience. <laughs> That's understandable. I agree. Yeah. Patience. And and also, um, and this is something I, I'm I have to be upfront with that I even was real I was even struggling with this really hard this morning. Um, it's just kind of um like self-confidence in the field. Um, because I, I I got a little discouraged this morning because there were a couple of uh, papers that I didn't get to see in my previous um, review, and it's just like, oh gosh, you know, it it could get a little overwhelming at times because when you try to stay up to date with the state of the science, you know, yeah. literally at the forefront of the state of the science, uh, you know, there's just there's so many journals out there. There's so much material to read that it can really get overwhelming, but it's, you know, just always stick with it, always stick with it and always uh, uh, love, love yourself. <laughs> so like really like, yeah, place, place the trust and the, the trust in yourself needed to uh, um, either get the physics homework done or the math homework done. I, I've no, I've I've seen many many a career uh, ruins due to just horrible like like a horrible math teacher or something uh -huh. and like they just um, they feel feel really bad because of it but it's just like just try try the best that you can <laughs> yeah um, yeah it's yeah yeah I uh, try yeah it's it, it's 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 tricky it it, it really is especially. Um, uh, but I don't envy where where you're at right now. <laughs> like you're you're a, you're a you're a high school you're high school seniors, and uh, one of the hardest things I've ever had to do was pick a college major. It it was it was it was rough, and part of the reason is because as I had many different interests. I liked you know I not only did I like weather, but I also liked computers. I also liked history. I also liked. Um, you know, law, um, you know, and, and policy, that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, it's, 
it, it's it's hard to be able to figure out where you see yourself in any kind of professional environment. Um, so, and it's something I'm still working with uh, today. So maybe that's why I'm doing a TikTok. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, just uh, just just know that even mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Uh, yeah, just 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 keep going. <laughs> just, just keep going. You don't quit. Yeah, don't, don't quit. Um, uh, one of the hardest things also in college was dealing with differential equations. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, I haven't and, even thought about that. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, differential equations. Uh, I, I know that the math and uh, physics could be particularly uh, mm -hmm. difficult. It was for me, but the the one thing I would love to tell you about navigating getting that world is don't just do the problems you know in in the book don't just flip to the relevant pages and you know do you know the math homework the math problems don't just start crunching numbers try to look at it as a set of like logical patterns like read the introductory notes you know before the pro before the the problems begin you know there's a story involved you know there's a logic behind it and then as soon as i started actually reading the materials and understanding the internal logic behind it it became 10 times uh, better and also just knowing the tools that are okay. available at your disposal you can learn everything from you know the crusades to you know, nuclear physics online on YouTube. And YouTube has been very, very helpful in my regard. So especially like with help for calculus, for physics. Um, yeah, it, it's it's worth it. Uh, so just familiarize yourself with the tools that are available at your, uh, and, and yeah, it's, uh, it, it can get challenging at times, but it just realized that, yeah, there are tools out there. There are people who you can talk to and yeah, just, j just know that you're, you're never alone <laughs> in, in those pursuits. So it, it, it can be difficult, but yeah, also it can be difficult in any, in any endeavor, in any ende endeavor. Uh, so you made a really interesting connection between like the idea of, sorry, so kids just walked in. Um, sorry. Uh, thank you so much for doing this interview. We really appreciate it. Yeah, sorry. I'm probably way over time. I, I, no, not I, at all. I you. Some, some kids just watched it and we don't want to, um, like, I don't know. Our classroom has been taken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, I, uh, I, I know what that's like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. We learned a yeah, lot. Yeah, no problem. And, uh, yeah, again, if you need any kind of, okay. um, just like resources on weather or climate or something, please don't hesitate to ask. And uh, I, I hope I was able to be a good resource in this yeah, regard. Yeah, incredible. We learned a lot. And I also have some yeah, follow-up questions. Like, yeah, we'll email you some follow-up questions. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Go for it. Okay. All right. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much.